Okay, Nancy. So, first off, I want to talk about this mounting block stuff. Really watch. See how you're helping her? And I know you're trying to make this video short, but she needs to fade into that parking space by herself. So you, and you can build up to this, but I want you to send her around, send her around. See you pulling right there? Stop pulling her. You should send her into it. If she doesn't want to stop, keep sending her around. You don't have to run her around, but just add enough energy to make her work a little harder than she wants to. When she wants to stop, exactly what you're doing. Praise her a lot. So see, you're kind of pulling back to force her to stop. What that's going to do is when you get on, she's not going to stand there and give it to you. You want her to want to be at the mounting block, not being forced at the, quote unquote, forced at the mounting block. So I really want you to pay attention to that one. That's important. That's something I want to continue to work on. All right, so sending her is good. I know your balance and your gait isn't great yet. Everything looks pretty good here. Pay attention to your hands. See you kind of pulling on her. Um, remember to, if she's pulling on you, bump your hand across your chest, shoulder to shoulder. Don't pull down. So see your left hand, you're kind of balancing and holding on to her. That's going to make her hold, pull on you. So pick up that left hand, bump her nose, shoulder to shoulder, from left to right shoulder. If she stops, just point and send her again. Other than that, good. She's a little lazy on her hips there. But part of that's because it's hard for you to step into her. That was a fair back. Okay, now these backs. She is lazy as crap here. See how she's just looking and you're just applying the same amount of pressure. I want you to get after her. Smack her in the chest. Use a stick. Oh, you do have a stick. And you're not using it. And you just let her walk away from you. What was that? So right now you should be using that stick. Use it. Smack her in the chest. You're carrying it and not using it. And she's not giving you any extra energy. She's pinning her ears. She's being lazy, heavy. She walked. You bumped her. She ignored you. You kind of let her go. Jerk her hard. Say that There, like that. That's better. I would have also smacked her in the chest. The second she gave you that energy, there you go. Send her back. Just try not to pull her to a stop. Think about your hands. You want to hold and pull. So we'll do that one again. There you go. You got after her. Smack her in the chest. And now... <clears throat> Alright, that was kind of lazy at the end. I want you to take the pressure off when she's moving backwards with energy. Don't take the pressure off when she says, I can't do it anymore. Okay, really think about that. Take that pressure off when she's moving backwards with energy. All right, her side pass is good. She's kind of, kind of nasty. We need to fix that. That attitude is always not very pleasant. Um, I want you to attempt to use your stick here too. I think it's going to help you a lot. Like right here, she tries to walk past you. If you would have had your stick, you could have like kind of accidentally cracked her in the nose a little bit and she would have stayed in her shape a lot more pleasant, a lot better. The actual side pass is really nice, but I'm not worried about the maneuver. I'm worried about her attitude. So I want you to use that stick if you can. You need to get after her a bit. This one's pretty good. See if you have the stick, your touch stop touching her. Use that stick and smack her on the hips. You need to try to use your stick. If it's easier, take the string off your stick so you don't have a lot to mess with. But you can't use your hand to move that hip. If you do that, you're touching, you're leaning, and she's leaning back. She needs to move that hip over more. See right here, I'd use my stick on that hip, smack her now. See how you smacked her with the rope and she swished her tail, but she didn't give you more energy? That's being super pissy. You need to get after that because when you need her to listen the most, she's not going to because of little things like that. So I really want you in the next couple ones to really think about trying to incorporate your stick the best that you can. All right, disengaging hips here. Um, you're kind of pulling her around. Keep 
Well, ah, don't pull her on top of yourself. Use left hand, push it more towards her face. She's walking a circle with that front end. We want that front end to plant and just move that hip. Here you're doing shoulders. They're pretty good. Not bad with the shoulders. The hip is a pretty crappy. Um, I would get after that hip because it's crappy in the side pass too. You can shorten your rope here so you can stay a little more and you can bump her to wait for you. But overall, really nice, really good. Um, think about what I said and we will go back over it again. Okay? All right. Um, let's uh, see what we can get out of this. And I want you to work on, you know, thinking about what I said. Hips, don't do her work for her and use your stick. Use it to your, use it for you and correct her now on the ground. We need to change that attitude of hers. All right.